Alright. Now, good day everybody. I just understood that I went live. Welcome to Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. I just started doing this speedrun, so don't expect any miracles or any uh, world records or anything. And let's get started. Just a new save. Always put it on easy, of course. Alright. Now, skipping cutscenes in this game is you have to press enter and escape, so it kind of... Kind of makes it uh, annoying. You have to pause them and then exit. Alright. Now for the timer. One, or oh, <laughs> three, two, one, go. Now the first few minutes are an auto scroller. Don't necessarily have to do anything if you want. I mean, if you want to have a little bit of fun, you can just use your uh, infinite ammo minigun and your infinite health heli chopper to basically just shoot up whatever you want. The only thing we have to make sure of is to shoot a heli chopper later on, and um, that will finish this auto scroller section. No, not this heli chopper. But the next heli chopper. And that will skip the uh, the rest of the auto scroller and move us to the tutorial. So I'm not gonna really bother with shooting right now. Alright. Heli chopper is going to be there. Hopefully we don't miss it too badly. Alright, skip cutscene. The moment checkpoint appears. Checkpoint reached, we go to the menu and we load that checkpoint so that we skip a part of the tutorial. Because we don't have to stand still then and hear explanations about walking and jumping and running. We kind of jump up here to be a bit faster. Come up. You run past him to get your pistol sooner, skipping another part of the tutorial. Or at least another part of all the explanations. basically just trying to get headshots because the pistol is really, really underpowered. Alright, now we're going to try and skip another cutscene that's there by jumping up the rocks here. We'll try and kill that guy. Alright, get rid of this as fast as possible. Please start moving. Alright, now jumping in this game is faster than just running. We're going to quickly disable the alarm. Press G to heal, please. Alright, quickly run around this way, just to quickly get that sniper. Move to the shotgun, and quickly clear out the camp. Now, in this game, it's all RNG, so the enemies could be anywhere. It can be very, very long fights sometimes really depending on where the enemies are and where they run off to oh. Let's just get this sniper as well of course, how did the alarm still go off then? Alright, that's that fight over. Now I'm going to try and do a skip. I'm really bad at this one, but we're going to try and take out the enemies faster than getting the mission to do it. If we succeed in that, we might be able to trick the game into spawning this guy even faster. Okay, I already fucked it up. <laughs> See, now I get the mission, so... Oh, come. So I'm basically too late. It's a bit of a shame. Could have saved me, like, 10 seconds. But alright. Like I said, I just started running this game. 
So I'm not the best at all, but I thought I'd just quickly showcase the run a bit. I hope you guys enjoy. Now this next fight... Is it with the red spear? No, it's with the catwalk. Motherfuckers. Alright, quickly turn off the alarm. Let's go kill these asses. You should be... Finished? Seems like it. Quickly refill everything. Don't need to even, even need to heal. Body armor. Let's get to the door. Alright, this is with the rockets. The red spear. Come on, man. Run. This is taking far too long. Alright. I'm going to try and set up the uh, mines at the entrances. I'm going to have another fight. Basically, this game is about clearing out the enemies as fast as possible. Now here, they're going to spawn in the door, so we're going to try and place a few mines here, just to make the beginning of the fight a bit easier. Come on, run. I also don't want to know. Alright. Now, fuck, I let a mine go off, I think, or not. I'm gonna try and just get these mofos. Nope. Please don't die. Alright. Reload this weapon as well. Where are these assholes? Because of all the flashes and all the sparks and all the neon and everything, it's very difficult sometimes to actually see what the hell is going on. And second of all, in this game, that's also why I find this a really hard game to speedrun, is that um, the controls are very difficult. Like, you don't have push to... Uh, a hole to run, it's basically a, um, uh, everything is toggle. Just a few more seconds, alright, then we're almost finished with the fight. Beautiful. Now that was a really slow one. Let's continue. Rid of that cutscene. And quickly run towards this thing, and boom! Now somehow there is a glitch to be able to w to run after this cutscene, but I'm I've never been able to get it. So I don't know how to reproduce that. So we're gonna have after this cutscene we're gonna have a section in which we only walk. So. The fastest way to do this walking section is to then jump the whole time. Because jumping is just a little bit faster than walking or running. So I'm going to try and jump as much as possible in this speed run.
just turn the sound of my telephone off as well. As far as I know, the um, all my browser sources have to be switched off this time. All right, up to the first camp. Alright, checkpoint reached, we can finally move on. Come on, please. That outpost. Please run. Alright, that was Dr. Darling. Go save the nerd. Another stupid thing about this game is that you cannot rebind the scroll wheel, and the scroll wheel only changes your grenades and molotovs. So it's basically a completely worthless button in this game. And that's really a fucking shame. Trying to without killing him because that's really fudged up if that happens. Come on, talk to me, don't waste my time. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, now comes the safe uh, or the fast travel uh, tutorial thing. And then, okay, let's go to the map and move back there. As for the war game dock, all secondary activities reward you with attachments and credits at a friendly garrison shop. <laughs> the guns make me safe. Bigger guns make me safe. When you are running low on your supplies of lethal killing implements, like ammo, travel to a friendly garrison to resupply at the shop. Alright, what we need to do for the game itself is we need to put on the suppressor and then go back and we just want to put the bow on this one and get the heck out of here. Oh. Why are you stuck, man? Come on. Alright, now, we're basically just gonna run and jump to every location. Because, um, seems very counterintuitive. Seeing as there's a car at the camp. But the car, and the fact that there are so many hills and, and, and whatnot, doesn't make it really any faster. So, I'm just gonna run towards every location. Go on, mop. <laughs> mop, jump. Alright. 
And next up is the dam. And there's two ways of doing it. There's a hard way and an easy way. I haven't been able to master the hard way yet, which saves a few seconds, so I'm going to do it the easy way. But the hard way would be if you go to the top bomb first, and then work your way to the bottom. But I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. automatic climb animations if you accidentally jump close to something that's interactable with like also enemies if you jump when there's an enemy close by and then it will just automatically push you on top of somebody else and uh, do the stealth kill animation or the takedown animation and it's just annoying if a game automatically decides things for you like that. I'm sorry, Rex. Alright, let's go. See, that's what I mean. I didn't touch anything. Alright, that's one. Oh, please. Start running. That's number two. And the third one is on the top. Come up. Slide. It's number three. Run. Alright. That went really nice. Favorite Far Cry weapon? Uh, well, depends on which Far Cry game. The um, the M4 and the the knife are my favorite in Far Cry 1. The M1903 sniper rifle is my favorite in 2. And in this one, I I, sh I think it's a shotgun. Please don't turn on the alarm yet, please. Yeah, sure, man. Wait there. Oh, I think it's here. Oh, really? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh. Come on. This map is kind of difficult sometimes to see what's going on. Checkpoint reached, so then we quickly load the last checkpoint. Oh, really? Fuck. Alright, there goes the alarm. That's a bit of a shame. But we'll deal with the problem. On top, yes, there are. Please. Let's heal as well. Also, sometimes he just does these random shotgun animations or random uh, 
like making the devil horn animations and things like that just randomly so sometimes you can't even fight because the game decides to just do uh, to do a random animation for no reason <coughs> all right next fight coming up this is a really nice fight it's on a timer so the faster you are the more hearts you can pilfer and I'll explain that in a bit but we need about five or six cyber hearts I need to get rid of this weapon. I don't need the sniper anymore. We're gonna change it around for the terrible thousand minigun. Alright. Some of this. Right. I noticed. All right. Let's place a few mines. Just gonna try and get rid of the enemies as quickly as possible. Mop. We have enough time to at least pick up a few hearts here and there. Alright, we're just gonna quickly grab the bow because that doesn't have some stupid animation every time you finish filfering. Come on, mom, pick it up. Okay, we got six. We got time for one more. Alright. and then saving so we go to the map and we move here all right let me just grab the bow again go to the next mission which is the um, I think this is the one with the hang glider right No, this is the eggs. Video games are a proven coping mechanism, like any hobby. They can 
Trying to get a bit of a boost of the rocks. Alright, they need to finish the conversation, so that's just gonna take some time. And in that time, we can just kinda have a little bit of fun with these guys. Don't stand right at buttons, you have to stand a, a bit away from them. Welcome to the silo of Ipsham, where all your stronghold needs will come true. Alright, now you could do some grenade strats and be even safer, but I don't want to waste my time trying that out now. I'm not that's the next frame gauge prototype. Oh, did I run past this one? No, I didn't. Go, 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 go. Just heal myself. Oh. Uh, really, stop making that animation, please. This is all completely automatic by the game. Where are we actually? There we are. Get some health just to make sure. Let's go destroy those eggs. Now hopefully we only need to reload once because this weapon reloads so slowly. So we're going to try and just spray a little bit of flamethrower gas on each egg instead of holding the button the whole time. So what we're going to try and do is just... Come on, man. Let's go. So, seriously, this is going awful. To double reload, that's a real fucking shame. And we need to fucking double heal. It's an even worse shame. Now 
that took so bloody long, guys. <laughs> it should have just been one reload, no extra healing, so that took far too long. Alright, let's just chill here and see if... Oh, good. <laughs> Can't really chill. Just need to run around then. And wait for this car to show up. Oh yeah, this game is definitely meant to be cringy. That's exactly why they did it. Like, the humor and everything in this game. At least I didn't die yet. No, it would be nice to have a deathless run on this one. Alright, now we're just trying to keep this thing a bit busy. Now we're gonna have another little auto-scroller section with a unlimited amount of ammo, but not an unlimited amount of health. And at least with this one... Oh. At least with this one you can actually make... You can at least receive XP for what you're doing. So in this case, try and destroy everything you can because a level up gives you extra health bar gives you other extras that you can really use during the run so if you're in this auto scroller make sure to try and get as many kills as many uh, cyber points that's what they call the XP in this game try and get as much as you can on this section I'm gonna try and hopefully get a level up Level up. Alright, that's good. So either we got some sort of ability or we got an extra health bar. So the next every second level you get an extra health bar. We're just gonna try and get some level ups. Alright, that was it basically. Now we have to drive a little section, and these cars handle awful. Compared to if you play Far Cry 1 or Far Cry 2, and you think, ah, oh, those are horrible, believe me, <laughs> this game, the car, the driving, awful. But this is going pretty nicely until now. Right. Incredible. All right, let's go to the next mission. Wait a minute. Let's get around this side. As far as I know, this is the hang glider section. So for anybody who was wondering when we're going to have the hang glider parts in Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, here it comes. So a hang glider hype, guys. Seeing as we did one yesterday during Far Cry 2 as well. Famous last words, definitely. Come on, run, man. Alright, now this is the, the cyber hang glider, so it basically has like boosters on the side, you can't see it, but this will stay at a constant height, so you can just, you can't go up, you can go down, we 
need to go down a little bit to get underneath that bridge over there. But this uh, hang glider will basically stay at a decent height. Get over this bridge, please. Please don't fall off. All right, beautiful. That's really annoying. If you fall in the water here, you have some cyber sharks, and no real way to really get to where we need to be. Hopefully, we don't get killed. I lost a lot of my health on that um, on those dragon eggs. It's a bit of a shame. Let's continue. Should be able to make it. Checkpoint reached, so that's good. We're gonna pick up a health kit in a little bit. Please don't fall in the water. Oh no! Why did you do that? Bloody hell. Penetrate rear entrance. Please don't. Bloody dogs. Please, you fucking dog. Please, no, fuck my life. There's bloody fire all the time. Much, much better. See how much better it can go sometimes. What the hell? Alright, now try and jump against the back wall. It's sort of in the middle. Oh, oh. You might miss the jump animation. I kind of missed the spot where that would happen. But you can cancel out the fall animation. Saving a second there, but I missed the, uh, worry, the spot where that's Stop necessary. Alright, now this is a location in which I have the feeling that I could find maybe a skip. If, if there is a way to get up to this door, because I'm basically running around all the way to the back, up the stairs, and all the way back to the front to get to this side. Let's heal. Grab this health. Refill ammo. Alright, now if there's a way to come in, immediately jump up or climb up, and then get to the door, you'd be able to start this two-minute waiting sequence a bit faster. So, I'm gonna try and look for that, but... Apart from that, it's basically just running through the game. There's not that many glitches. There are a few, like being able to run where you're, suppo where you're supposed to only be able to walk and things like that. But not really any really big skips or anything, actually. It's just, it's a short story, Blood Dragon. And it's basically just finishing the five, six missions. Now, if, if I didn't have enough cyber hearts, then this would be the perfect location to pick up a few more. Let's see if everything is reloaded while we're at it. I'll reload this one. Alright. That one's loaded. Not that we're going to use the flamethrower, but who knows. Just in case. Alright. The next fight is going to be against two blood dragons in an arena. And that's what we need the cyber hearts for. I'm going to throw down a cyber heart. And one of the two dragons is then going to kind of ear up and kind of show its chest. And that's the sensitive part. And we're going to try and use the uh, Terror 4000 minigun to shoot them in... Uh, 
to shoot them in the chest and destroy them as quickly as possible. I'm planning it. I still have to uh, study the Prive 3 route and uh, do that. And then I have all the any percent uh, game uh, runs that I need to be able to uh, do the anthology. So just keep an eye out for that. But I'm working on the anthology, guys. Believe me, you won't miss it if I do uh, create it. Oh, don't get stuck. Oh, good. <laughs> Missed the fucking uh, door. Alright, where are they? There is one and there is one. This is where you die, Sergeant Rex Power Cult. Is the man Kraken ready? Oh, no. What was it? F? Wait, what the hell, man? Options. <laughs> Controls, what the hell is this? Customize, spring crouch without interact, yield throw, lure, H. There we go. Please don't fucking hold me in the corner. This is going awful until now. These bloody dragons. And I pressed the wrong. Seriously, man, you stupid animals. Why can't one of you two at least stop following me and just. Stand up, goddammit. There we go, but it was too late. Oh, this is so awful, RNG, goddammit. And I don't have any fucking cyber hearts. Don't have enough fucking time to fill for it. Just die already. Seriously, man. Awful RNG this time uh, this time around. Now we don't need to pill for anymore. This is a speedrun, but an awful one at that. The RNG with the dragons has been so awful this time. But alright, let's just continue. Alright. Alright, now, for the last mission, or the last fighting section of this game, basically. get the um, Death Star so we can unlock the Cyber Blood Dragon that's waiting for us at the end. <laughs> so awful that, yeah, I had to check the controls just to make sure that I wasn't just fucking it up, but that was really pathetic, I know. But like I said, guys, I haven't really um, played this run that much, actually. I've been very busy doing Far Cry 1. And um, 
when I got uh, accepted for this event, I um, kind of moved over to Far Cry 2 as well. So I haven't touched Blood Dragon in a while. And um, there was room on the schedule, so I offered. Thought I'd just quickly showcase the speedrun. But like I said, don't expect any world runs here this time. Alright, now with this, fuck, I missed the running glitch, I had it, and then I let it go, that's a shame as well, but you can glitch basically, if you, if you press shift at exactly the right time, you would be running right now instead of walking. And that glitch you can do in a few other animations as well, speeding up the speedrun a bit. Oh yeah, I know Instant Respawn is always teasing. He's the biggest troll I have on my channel. Now, only headshots really help out, so... Within all the chaos, we have to try and get as many headshots here as possible. Because shooting him in the body just isn't fast enough. You're gonna try. Oh, no, let's just run after these assholes. Come up. Now come up, Zeg. That difficult. Get these Molotox assholes before I have them light on fire. Shit, I'm on fire. challenge shotgun the nice thing about this shotgun is that when reloading this one you can actually run while doing it which is really nice just quickly run around reload takes a while just let them show up in a beautiful line, take them out like this, reload again. You can do takedowns, but I'm so awful at takedowns in this game that I don't even waste my time trying. Alright, always get the fire guys. Fuck, why did I run into the fire? At least in this game, there's a lot of shots fired. Next challenge, the incendiary sniper rifle. Let's just quickly grab this elf here as well. 
Alright. What? How there's there one guy behind me? run past these assholes and just quickly grab the new weapon which is gonna be much better terror 4000 unlimited all right now comes the difficult parts we have to try and headshot all these crackers before they get too close words all right Mob. now again you could glitch the game to make you run during this section but again it's something that I have really not been able to get yet so it's a lot of things that I really need to figure out how to glitch in this game all right kill star Welcome to the ending, guys. It's um, about five minutes away from the ending. Now, there's another glitch. Nobody knows how that works. It's just random somehow. At least people... I haven't found anybody who can tell me why this happens. But sometimes people get the kill star immediately. And they can immediately start running on this bridge. Making it 20%, 20 seconds faster. But uh, I didn't get that glitch, so... We're just gonna have a regular end. Now I get the kill star. So you can imagine if that whole walking section was immediately running with the kill star and shooting the gate, you'd be much faster. Alright. Welcome to the last bit of Blood Dragon, guys. Alright. This is definitely a, a, an action hero uh, homage. Sir Why didn't you grab the bloody zip line? He just automatically jumped forward. I didn't even touch anything. I should have never gone ziplining. Uh, I think we're just a few minutes over schedule, I think, or not? Now, you remember from Far Cry 2 yesterday when the guy, when I walked away, he said badass? In the bar, like at the beginning. Well, badass. Boom. Now, the next part is going to be just like the beginning. It's going to be a um, auto scroller. 
with uh, unlimited ammo and unlimited health. The uh, auto scroller is about three minutes, so at about what would it be, 57 then? Yeah, about the 57 minute mark, 56. Um, you can get ready for the timer. Few minutes behind. All right. <laughs> yeah, man, this definitely is a realistic uh, conclusion of Far Cry 2. Now, just like before, I can, if I want, shoot up everything. But let me not do that. But we're just gonna let this walk through. I mean, I could basically keep shooting what I want. But you don't have to, I mean, the game's gonna finish itself. So we're just gonna let it go. And let it walk. Now, for the sellout, there we go. But thanks everybody for watching. Um, this was just um, to quickly fill up the uh, schedule because there was a no-show, I believe. And um, <laughs> stop spamming. And um, yeah, I just had a few minutes to quickly set it up, but I'm I'm really happy to uh, to have run two runs in this event really cool I'm really happy to have participated in this event and um, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys are enjoying the the event as a whole I can tell you I am a lot of really great games on this event all right now let me just take out these heli choppers anyway just so you can see the red spear rockets in the back Get your hands ready on the timer. And timer can stop. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. That was Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon done in an absolutely awful time. But I hope you guys at least enjoyed the game and the run. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the events. See you guys.